Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Daniela. I'm Miss Four Lizard. And it's about time I did an updated planner stack setup review. Um, I feel like I've hit my stride with my next step of my planner evolution. And I just wanted to share with you the planners that I'm currently using, what I'm using them for, how it's going, and yeah, so right now I'm using two big happy planners, six slash seven classic sized planners, and one mini planner, so that is a total of um, about 10, around 10 planners, because I don't know if you count um, like a planner that's kind of hybridized in as one or two planners. I have a couple of those um, in my setup here, so I'm not sure how many exactly I have, but um, I would say I have like about 10 right now, which is a lot, but definitely uh, I feel like I have the room to stretch out in all of this creative space. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing um, my planner setup, my planner stack, uh, as, as it stands now in mid-May. Just keep on watching. So let me move these planners uh, to the side and let's start, I guess, in order of importance. So let's start off with this baby here. So actually, this is my work planner, and I have her in this beautiful zip folio from the Happy Planner and this really cute mini puff that my mom got me for um, my birthday. So I just got this zip folio, so she's nice and clean and beautiful looking. I just have some, you know, stuff tucked away in here and this pen that my mom also got me for my birthday. So this is my first planner in my setup. It's a classic sized and I use this for work. And I just put the cover and the rings on her that I got from the, um, the latest Wildflower Be Happy box. So I've been loving that. So I technically have three planners hybridized into this one work planner, but um, I'm thinking of changing it up. But let me show you what I have going on right now. So I just have like my calendar, some New Year's resolutions, a folder, a sticky note dashboard, some routines, my whiteboard dashboard. So the first planner I have in here is an hourly planner, but I use this whenever I feel like I need a bit of more of like a structured agenda and I don't pay attention to the dates. Like I don't use it like every single day. So as you can see here, I've kind of written out the days that I've used it. So I used it April 27th. I felt like I wanted to, you know, have a schedule. So it's nice to have an hourly planner tucked into your work planner. So when you feel like setting up a schedule but don't feel like having a whole page, you can use this style to help orient yourself. So I used it April 27th, I used it May 9th, and I used it May 10th. And I am going to continue to use it like that and as I fill up these pages. So I have, um, I just have April in here and then the month of May in here as well from this planner. But I only have basically one month in here um, at a time. I just have this uh, page in here just because I started it April 27th. But I just have one month in there just because I don't feel like I'm gonna go through those pages too quickly. And then the second planner that I have in here, and I like separating them from each other with these Glutatama dividers. This is the Doodles, the Seasonal Doodles Color Block Planner. So I have the month of April in here. And I use this for work. This is my work planner. And this is graduate school, scientific research stuff. Um, I had some stickers in here. Oh, I need a, oh, I only have that one sticker. <laughs> this is kind of annoying me, actually. Let me... Let me pull these stickers out. Uh, well, actually, I can pull that one out and then let me stick this sticker somewhere. I'll put it here. Um, maybe I'll put it like, 
like here. Okay, there we go. So that way I don't have to have that one sticker on that page. So this is the month of May. Monthlies, um, I didn't really do too much with the monthly this, uh, this month around, but this is May and then this is the current week that I'm on. So there's that, and then I kind of have stuff mapped out for the next week. And then we have the rest of May and then June. I have some things uh, mapped out already. And of course, these pages are blank because we're not there yet. And then we get into July. And I'm thinking of switching my planner at this point. So I love this divider, but I don't think I'm gonna be using it, at least for work. I'm switching into a, um, a twin loop bound planner for July. But I just have a few months in here at a time. I might take these out, honestly, but we'll see. And then I just have some stickers tucked away in here, a folder with some more stickers. And then my, I have another planner hybridized into here, separated with this Gudetama divider. This is my teaching stuff, so I'm, I also have another um, position alongside my graduate work, so I have um, everything that I need to, you know, have mapped out here in terms of my teaching work. I don't really use the monthly. Um, I didn't really use the monthly this month, but that's fine. And then I just have some, you know, some notes here and there, and I feel like this planner is very much like functional it's not very cute i do try to like decorate it but i sometimes i just need to get stuff done and so it's not very decorative and i just have the month of june in here as well and some stickers and actually i think this planner is going to change quite a bit in july i think what i'm going to end up doing is just separating my uh, my scientific work into um, into this guy instead of having it combined with my teaching because I'm actually graduating at the end of July and starting a new position in uh, at beginning of August and so I kind of want to just switch into a new planner for that I feel like that would be appropriate and then I might switch all the hourly stuff into like my daily agenda planner and then for teaching stuff, I think I'm gonna move that into a different planner, which I'll show you in a second. So I think I'm gonna separate everything out again and replace this work planner with this twin loop planner. So I think that's gonna happen in July. So I'm excited for that transition, but for now I'm gonna continue using um, this as my work planner. So that is planner number one or planner number three. And then let's start with my big planners. Uh, we're going in order of, of importance again. So this is my big catch-all planner. I have her on these like yellow gold Mickey Mouse metal discs and the cover is from the floral Mickey and Minnie line and then the back cover is from the seasonal doodles planner from Michaels. I love like switching it up like, like that. And this is my catch-all home planner. It's basically like my memory keeper it has like everything to do with like social life family friends it's kind of where i journal as well um it's like all my household and to do's for home and stuff i also have an hourly schedule in here as well which i'm going to use very similarly to how i use it in my work planner days that i want to you know use an hourly schedule um, which is not necessarily for work i can just get into here i only have one month of that in here um, tucked into here and again i'm gonna use it only when i feel like it so i might you know take quite a quite a few months to fill up one month and then this planner it has so many different planners in here i have uh the month of april is um from the pressed florals uh, planner. It's a vertical. I started it in late April, so I don't really have too much going on in the beginning, but then, you know, I really get into it. My May monthly, and this is my May overview. Um, just a quick flip through here. And this is, it's been so much fun. So for June, I also have the pressed florals, and in July, I switch into a jungle vibes. Um, this is the fun of having multiple planners, is that you can switch in and out of different formats, and because it's disc bound, you can pop things on and off. And then August, I'm going with the Blushin' It vertical planner. 
for September. I'm going to go with this Wanderlust planner, also vertical. Um, October, it's going to be this Seasonal Doodles planner, which is also vertical. Same with November and December and January and February and March, just because these months are so seasonal and I love the seasonal dividers. But then in April, we're switching to a vintage botanicals a vertical. And then in May, we're switching into a princess elegance dashboard, which this one is from last year. So I'm going to have to redate that one. Same with this one. This is from Marabou Designs. It's from an older planner. It's also vertical. I have to switch that one up. July, I'm going to switch into a cosmic watercolors horizontal planner. August, same thing. This is a vertical. I'm going to have to redate this one. September, this is from Blush in It, it's a vertical, and then October is um, a vertical from the Seasonal Doodles, and then November is from um, the Cosmic Watercolor Horizontal, and lastly, December is from Marabou Designs, or is it Spoonful of Faith? No, it's Marabou Designs, so I'm gonna have to redate that one because it's an older one. So like I said, this is like my catch-all household social life memory keeper. I love this one so much. Having a blast with that one. And then this is one that I recently set up. I had to have this cover. This is from the new back to school release and I put her on these like light baby pink discs that are from the Cosmic Watercolor Big Horizontal Planner. Teaching is an adventure and this planner is going to be all of my teaching and education work including my science communication outreach work and everything that has to do with like um service outreach teaching um even self-education as well like professional development is going to go into here so um, it's very different work from my like scientific research but it is still work so i wanted to kind of separate those two so I uh, also, similarly to that last big happy planner I showed you, I combined several different big happy planners into this planner. So I have um, the Stargazer planner, which has this beautiful like galaxy nebula um, prints and image. And I already started working in this and I had to redate this one because this one was actually from 2023. So I just brought it up some and um, I actually started it on May 11th and I've been kind of working in it since then. So I'm going to shift all of my teaching and science communication and professional development into here as well as like I want to use this also for like current events so anytime I read like scientific articles or just like the news or you know just journalism i want to make notes of that in here because i consider all of that like professional development so i did redate the weeks and i used stickers from mojo jojo plans um this sticker book actually right here it has some awesome like month stickers so i used those and then for june i put in some villains um, months. So this is also from the new release and I redated the month and this one is um, the evil queen from Snow White. This is a vertical. I'm gonna have to redate it because again it's from another year but that's totally fine. I don't mind that at all. So there we have that. And then in July, we're actually going to start with those newer planners, so I don't redate as much starting in July. So this is from the Cosmic Watercolor, it's a horizontal. And then we have Stargazer, uh, Cosmic Watercolor, this is from the Villains, then November is Cosmic Watercolor, December Cosmic Watercolor. Um, January is from the Villains, February is from the Cosmic Watercolor, March is from the Villains, April is Cosmic Watercolor, May is Villains, June is Cosmic Watercolor, July is Villains, August is Cosmic Watercolor, September is Villains, Cosmic Watercolor, Villains, and lastly, Cosmic Watercolor. So I've been using mainly three planners for this one, and I feel like it all kind of fits together. It's a little bit more dark, um, a little bit more, you know, that kind of aesthetic. 
So Stargazer, Cosmic Watercolor, and Villains. Those are the three planners I used to make up this planner here. And I just have this super cute Mickey bookmark which says teachers change the world one child at a time. I felt like that was really appropriate for this planner because it's going to be like my higher education, teaching, outreach, service, anything that has to do with administration I guess in higher education is going to go in here. Okay, let's start with my classic planners. So this is one that I kind of got away from. Um, I was really good with meal planning at the beginning of the year, you know, New Year's resolutions and all that. I was really good with it. And then about, I would say late March, early April, I just kind of dropped off from it. I got so busy. I just was over it. I took a break, but I'm ready to get back into it. So I actually, um, so this is the meal planner um, from the Happy Planner, and I actually already got rid of all of the months up till now because I don't really care to save all of those pages. I just got rid of them. I switched this planner to mini black discs because it's a lot thinner now. And I just start in May. So um, we just have a folder, stickers, bookmark, and I recommitted um, Friday the 13th. So I've been slowly trying to, you know, take notes of what I'm eating. And this is like, it has dual purpose for me. This is for meal planning. Like I want to be better about, you know, meal planning, meal prepping and cooking and learning, you know, ga gaining skill in the kitchen and gaining skills in cooking because I feel like I definitely lack skills in that area. So my meal planner, I use it, yes, to meal plan and to meal prep because I really want to get into the habit of cooking regularly and, you know, um, just eating my own home-cooked meals instead of, like, eating processed food, eating frozen food, eating out, or just skipping meals. Like, I want to have healthy home-cooked meals that I eat pretty consistently. But I also want to be accountable to myself about what I'm eating. And if you force yourself to write down everything you eat, then you quickly start realizing like how much junk food you're eating or how often you're eating junk food or how often you're snacking or if you're over snacking. And those habits and patterns really get revealed to you when you're like totally honest with yourself and cast like this bright light onto your eating habits. And so I've always have been guilty of overeating and snacking too much. So this is going to be kind of just like my accountability record as well as helping me like um, get into the habit of cooking because I do want to, you know, be a better cook. I feel like I'm not that good of a cook. I'm okay, like I don't, you know, burn things, but there's definitely so much room for improvement when it comes to me in the kitchen. So I have just the last couple of months in the year here in this meal planner. So I'm going to um, get back into this one. Okay, the next planner in my stack, this is my garden planner. And I just uh, put up a video about how I use this planner because I am using a gardening planner slash an undated vertical planner for this. I just have stickers, envelope, folders. But how I use this one is that I converted the vertical format into what I call a rolling monthly and each divider is going to be a season. So um, this is going to be like spring 2022. The next divider is going to be summer 2022 and each box stands for one day in the month and so you're seeing three weeks at a time at, on a weekly spread like this and I felt like this was the perfect format for my garden planner because I don't necessarily need all of that room every single day like the three boxes every single day but I don't necessarily want to just have you know monthly calendar views because those boxes are pretty small so this is like the happy medium and I'm just really excited to um to see where this goes and i just started this like rolling monthly i kind of tried it out and mapped out what that might look like this um 
in the previous weeks and then I really started using it this week so I'm excited to uh, to continue working in this format I think this is perfect for gardening which is very much like a process that happens over like larger time scales so I think this is gonna be perfect and yeah I'm gonna take years to finish this at this rate that I'm going but that's totally fine because that means I don't have to buy any more gardening stuff Next planner, this is budget. Um, I'm not gonna flip through this because it has a bunch of you know sensitive information in here, but I just, this is just a plain old budget planner. And I took out already like a bunch of pages from previous months. And right now I only have pages from May, I think in here, yeah. And so it's a lot thinner than it usually is. So I have it on these smaller like, uh, clear discs with glitter in them and this is just a classic uh, budget planner and I don't really decorate this one I just use this to keep track of how much I'm spending and all my bills and things like that so I have that one it's very functional then I have my faith planner this is a newer planner and I just got into it right away I'm not actually using the pages of this planner yet I just stuck in a couple of months from my uh, the faith planner that I was currently using which is like this kind of style and that planner doesn't start until July so we're gonna have to wait until then to actually get into those pages but this faith planner is also a planner that I've completely revolutionized how I use it I don't use it on the daily um, so and I don't pay attention to the time aspect for this planner except for the monthlies i like decorating the monthlies these are my interfaith plan with me so i like to just kind of um map out what's going on every month um across like major religions and belief systems but how i use the weeklies is whenever i feel like journaling in my faith planner i will journal in whatever blank space um, i have on pages so and i treat each spread as as like a whole chunk of time if that makes sense this is actually kind of hard to explain what i mean by this but here let me wipe this out so you can kind of see uh oops, see what i'm talking about so oops ah totally messed that up okay so basically we have these two pages and i write here at the top may 10th to and then I don't write um, the ending date. So basically in the month of May, whenever I feel like faith journaling, I will turn to this page and I will journal wherever I want. I'll sticker, I will just you know journal about what I've read in the Bible, what I read in my Oracle cards, what I read in the Tibetan Book of the Dead. You know, I'm very interfaith, so I like reading and uh, reflecting on various religions and belief systems. And so I'll journal here and then at some point I'll fill up the entire two pages and then when that's done I'll just write May 10th to the I don't know the 20th maybe it'll take me 10 days to really fill this up and then I'll switch to the next page and I'll continue that process then and sometimes I will write the date of like when I you know journaled like right now this day I wrote May 13th but I don't necessarily have to do that and so that's how I'm going to be setting up my faith journal. And if I only write like, let's say four pages in the entire month, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these pages that are left over and then transfer them to the back of the planner or transfer them somewhere else. And then I will continue working like that. Um, and that way I don't like force myself to keep up with something. I don't feel behind. On anything it's just there for me when I'm ready to write in it so that's my faith journal um, oh let me let me uh, put these guys in here so I really like how I set this up I think it's the perfect format for me because you know um, that way I I don't feel like I have to stay like keep something maintained you know like I am able to just reach for it when I feel like I, I have the time and the energy to do so. So there we have it. 
that's my faith journal and then my last classic sized journal is this fitness planner i just recently switched up the cover and the discs i was using this cover up till now and with clear discs but i kept on like feeling like i wanted something a little bit brighter and so I, what I did was I used the inside cover of the Rong Grong Fitness Planner. So this is the cover and this is the back of it. But I really like this design and I used this cover for the entirety of 2020. And I feel like I love it, but I also want something different. And so I decided to use this inside cover instead. I think it's still really cute and fun. And I used these pink marble discs from the Jungle Vibes Planner. And so we just have uh, my cover page and then um, some pages here. I actually might get rid of these, honestly, because I don't really use these. Let me pull these out. Yeah, let me pull these out. We just have the calendar and then we have the month of April, which I'm tempted to take out because maybe I'll just leave it in here. You can see that I was like kind of off and on with my fitness planner in April, but it wasn't until May that I really started getting into it. So this is all that I've worked out in this month so far. And this is the first week in May and second week in May. And yeah, it's, I have been loving it. Um, yeah, so currently Saturday the 14th and I have stickers, my dashboard and that's it so that's my fitness planner last planner in my stack a mini this is the first mini that i've really worked with this is the doodles like the seasonal doodles mini it's a horizontal look at these bright yellow discs so cute and i'm gonna have to redate this one quite a bit because i only have two months left in it when i got it and i got this for two dollars so i felt like i could definitely find a use for it the monthly view, I am stamping each day that I publish a video, so it's kind of motivating me to like um, publish consistently and often. And also, I just want to you know keep track of how many times a month I publish. So that was my first week, and then this is the current week, and I have been using this to. Um, oh, did I even mention this is? Uh, the planner I used to like help me organize all of my YouTube publishing scheduling stuff and so there's that and then this is the upcoming week so there we have that one love this one I think the mini is the perfect size for my YouTube because I don't necessarily need a lot of space but I do kind of need some space and so this is like the perfect um, the perfect size for this love it Okay, and honorable mention, I almost forgot about this one. This is my daily agenda planner. So I have all my daily sheets in here. Ugh, I had to use my gorgeous Adventure Awaits Sawaro Fantasy cover and I have her on these beautiful pink metal discs. And this is my cover page. And I just have a bunch of daily pages in here for days when I feel like I need a daily page. Oops, I just have them in here. And yeah, so there we have that. And I have a bookmark and some stickers and just daily pages in here. And I have all of my old dividers from this planner i used this planner so much when i had it and so the dividers are just like really nicely decorated and covered with stuff but that's fine i don't mind having them like this like it's kind of funny to see what i was doing um on different months so i just have all the dividers in here and then at the very end i have just a bunch of daily pages that i can reach for and I just kind of organized them by month. So this was um, April. And then in May, uh, at any time that I use a daily page, I'll just stick it into May. And then when we move into June, I'll stick them into June and so on. And that is what I have going on in this planner. Okay, I think that is all. That's my current planner stack. I have so many planners, but 
I just love it. I feel like it's it really works for me. It motivates me. It inspires me. I feel like I am at my creative best when I'm working in several planners. Again, like I'm an artist and I'm a data scientist and combine those two things and you have someone who loves planners and can use them, can use multiple planners pretty efficiently and effectively. So I'm having a blast with these planners. They're, they definitely like make me happy and you know, I just, I love them. I love them so much. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning into this video and um, yeah, I hope you're doing wonderfully. Let me know how many planners you're currently using and what you're using them for in the comments down below. I would love to know and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.